What about trying to apply equal standards? You know, if there were Republicans protesting outside liberal justices and, and the toner tenor got hot, do you think it would be the same principles at play? Or would, would some people be having a different opinion? Hello, all you historically extreme YouTube people. If you're new here, then you don't know rule number one of the Democrat state media. It's always different when the Democrats do it. Meaning that the media doesn't hold Democrats to any sort of consistent standard. Any standards they pretend to have are just temporary positions they take based on political expediency. That's why they can scream for eight years that Republicans peacefully protesting Barack Obama are extreme racist right-wingers who are just upset said about a black president. Oh, who also just happens to be half white. And they can also accuse anti-lockdown protests of being violent white supremacists who are killing grandma with COVID. But years worth of left-wing riots are somehow immune from COVID and are of course mostly peaceful despite the high toll of death and destruction. Today's clip shows one of them admitting that they know what they do and with a big old shit eating grin on his face about it. What you see Chuck Schumer trying to do is rally the Democrats, the Democratic base in particular, around the, the idea that important rights could be lost you've got to get out here and you've got to vote democratic well she's about to agree wholeheartedly and in case you didn't know that's obama admin official and prolific democrat party liar valerie jarrett's daughter which they never disclose of course the flip side of that laura though is the protests um and, and this is a question about civility the frustration people feel is personal but where's the line? Obviously, what we see, the, the apparent arson at, a, uh, at an anti-abortion nonprofit in Wisconsin is over the line. Violence is always over the line. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful, because I can show you that outraged citizens are the ones who have made America what she is and led to any major milestones. Now we're about to see this guy admit that the media will never treat a Republican protest like this in the same way. But first, give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. All right, folks, now it's time to set goals for the next cycle of inflation. This way, you're always moving forward and growing, making money, not losing it. Just imagine having more freedom and having more fun. Start a gold IRA with Noble Gold right now and fight inflation. And this month for every IRA above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin completely free as a thank you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call 877-646-5347 right now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. The flip side of that, Laura, though, is the protests. Um, and, and this is a question about civility. The frustration people feel is personal. But where's the line? Obviously, what we see, the, the apparent arson at, a, um, at, at an anti-abortion nonprofit in Wisconsin is over the line. Violence is always over the line. <laughs> Are you serious? You just got done saying that the arson attack on the anti-abortion center was way over the line. How is an angry mob showing up to a judge's personal home where their families are not over the line? It clearly is, but get ready for a bunch of words that could have been summed up by just saying, it's different when we do it. But there are real questions and conversations today about protests outside Supreme Court justices' houses, particularly Justice Kavanaugh. Um, where do you think that line is? I think for a lot of people, the, a conversation about civility feels um, like it misses the mark mm. when constitutional rights that you believe that you had for over 50 years are about to be overturned. See, it's okay to show up and threaten Supreme Court judges because they believe that their rights are threatened. The irony here that she and the others apparently miss is that the other side also thinks that this is a rights issue for the unborn baby. Can those people legitimately show up to the homes of members of the media, Democrat politicians, or Supreme Court justices? Because all of those people actively promote something that the anti-abortion side sees as an assault on constitutional rights. See, these are the kinds of things we need a Supreme Court for. The Supreme Court is an institution that's supposed to be insulated from public opinion for very good reasons. The framers of the Constitution understood that the protection of things like minority rights should never be left to the whims of public opinion. Once again, we see this disconnect between the rhetoric of Democrats and their media mouthpieces who claim to be defenders of democracy and our institutions now cheering on the destruction of one of America's most important institutions. 
Because... The rules are different now. Justices have security. So far, all of the protests have seemed overwhelmingly nonviolent. Uh, there are plenty of protests that happen every single day in this country, around the country, at abortion clinics, blocking women from getting into clinics. And we don't cover those as if there's four mm -hmm. alarm fires. And so, yes, there are going to be protests in front of Kavanaugh's house because people are angry. Seriously now, can you imagine any member of the media ever defending a Republican protest that ended up at the homes of Democrats or members of the media with the excuse that they're angry? <laughs> the entire point here is to be threatening and to coerce these judges into changing their rulings, which again, then delegitimizes the Supreme Court as an institution, thereby destroying it. What about trying to apply equal standards? You know, if there were Republicans protesting outside liberal justices and, and the toner tenor got hot, do you think it would be the same principles at play? Or would, would some people be having a different opinion? It, it is the same principle, um, although people would react differently. Of course, this guy's first instinct is to go full Orwellian and spit out some doublespeak. Because obviously he has no other idea how to answer this question. I'm amazed that John Avalon even worded it that way. Quote, applying equal standards. Something that we talk about daily on this channel. But this guy's hilarious response is, quote, the principle would be the same, but people would react differently. I'm sorry, no. They would be calling these people extremists and accusing them of an attack on democracy. The credibility of the court is also where some of this yeah. points to, right? I mean, when you look at some of the polling, the support for the court has fallen to really all-time lows over the last few decades. Look who's talking. Yeah, what's that say about the media who have been losing public trust for decades as well? Now at all-time lows with pretty much only Democrats believing anything they say. All right, folks, that's all I can stand for one session. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and share. Then leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. <coughs>